Thank you, Greg. Grass fires have swept across North Texas, leading homes and businesses charred. Some even burned to the ground. Dry conditions and warm, windy weather have helped fuel those flames. I want to show you just where those fires have burned. Firefighters have been trying to contain Blaine's and Wise, Tarrant, and Hood counties. Suzanne Bruner joins us live now from Kennedale, where fire crews have been keeping an eye on things throughout the night. Yeah, they have been on fire watch overnight into the morning hours. It's very windy out here, Mark. You can smell the smoke out here. And if you look down where I'm at, uh, the wind really hasn't helped firefighters much. Where I'm standing is where the fire came through. Moving my feet to the side right here, you can see where it just uh, charred the grass over here. Uh, but this was the issue out here yesterday where flames quickly spread and burned up to 100 acres here in Kennedale. Fire crews from 16 North Texas fire departments, they rushed out here to evacuate several homes and work to save 15 structures that were in danger. One business, Riley Machine and Welding, caught fire in our WFAA team that was out here yesterday. I actually heard loud pops coming from it. We were very apprehensive of sending guys in. We did have reports that there was at least five to 10 acetylene torch uh, canisters and five to 10 uh, oxygen canisters from the welding supply. Firefighters worked with Encore to shut down power to the shop and even reached out to railroad authorities to stop train traffic. They were able to contain the fire just before 5 p.m. and saved about 70% of the shop. Just across the street, we spoke with a woman who said she smelled smoke inside the storage facility she manages. Two dogs over there, and I was, I ran over there real fast, and I said, took him two leashes, and I said, please, I said, get those dogs out of there, please. Yeah, you know, it's unclear what sparked the grass fires, but firefighters tell us that the conditions out here are still ripe for any flare ups. Even a, the smallest spark, even a cigarette butt could start another fire again. So again, they are out here monitoring this closely. I don't know if you can hear it in my mic, but it is very, very windy out here, which is not a good case for firefighters. Guys, back to you. Yeah.